Hey everybody, welcome to another a New Player Investigator Deck Guide. Today we're going to be covering the last investigator from the core set, who is none other than Wendy Adams. Uh, this deck was built, uh, on this page was built by Travis. We're going to talk about it, then we're going to go through uh, cycle by cycle recommending cards from that cycle. Uh, it's built with two core sets in mind. If you only have one, we recommend picking up another or proxying the cards you don't have, as it will help you win more. Travis, why don't you just talk us through the deck, the kind of idea yeah, behind it. Um, so I can't wind you. You have one of the most optimized stat pools in the game, actually. Mm -hmm. Four foot, incredible. Four brain, incredible. Three book, very serviceable. One punch, who cares? You know? <laughs> you won't be needing it. Yeah, like the could mayor have like three brain or three foot and like two punch, but like that's function the same as one because you never can so that being said no punch that means you're relying on either events or um you're going to be getting clues to participate in the game seven hearts seven brains fantastic very balanced stats very resilient for a small child <laughs> um reaction ability you can discard a card to take tests again like actually 10 out of 10 ability so good yeah I I think the best part about Wendy is how literally half of your deck can be built out of blank cards that actually do nothing. Yeah. And you'd still be in pretty good shape. Yeah, you just show up and you're like, I'll evade this guy. And they're like, you fail. And you're like, I'll throw away any of these cards to try again. And there's some cycles that really like push that into being like absurd. Yeah. Because you get value out of discarding this. But anyway, base deck, flashlight. Investigate good. Like I said, that's like the thing you can contribute to make to advancing the game, the offensive part of the game that you can participate in. Flashlight's a good way to do that. Rabbit's foot. Um, like drawing cards is really good. Yeah, you, you get something out of things going anything. wrong. Yeah. Um, and even if you fail, like it just it really takes sting out of it. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, Leo Luke is your ally. Taking extra action is good. Extra 33% of a turn is good. Pickpocketing. Uh, Getting benefit from evading, which is one of your, like, good, really good stats. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I like it. Also, like, the reward being drawing a card, which basically means you get to take a test a second time without really taking it. Like, Yeah, good. it's the same kind of thing with Rabbit's Foot, where if you failed one, you commit a card, you fail again, you get a card back with Rabbit's Foot, so it's like you never lost the card, really. It's, it's pretty, there's some high value there in Wendy as well. Yep. <clears throat> Scavenging. Like I said, we want to investigate this. Let's you get things back from your discard. Uh, not super relevant with like this base deck, Wendy, because the only items you're playing are like flashlight and foot. But that being said, being able to like repeatedly throw one away and then just like get it back. So you investigate and then you're like, I don't like that result. I'll... And then you're like, I succeed. I'll take it back, please. Seems good. You just, you just succeed the investigate for free. <clears throat> that is insane. Uh, look what I found. Very good. Most red decks. Um, getting clues good. Uh, backstab is a good way for her to actually fight. Because as Travis said, she has one fist, which is like... You, you might as well have zero. Uh, yep. So backstab allows you to actually kill things at a pretty efficient level. A very efficient level, actually. Yeah. Three damage is a lot. For, that'll kill most enemies. Yeah. Kind of distractions, one of my favorite one of us. Um, being able to commit for either a guts or like one of any symbol mm -hmm. is like very flexible. And then just like that once in a while <laughs> where you're just like, I'll evade like five, like three guys or whatever. Like, it's great. My favorite is the idea of throwing a whole turkey at like cultists. No, and they're like, oh, and it distracts god, them all. They're like, oh my god, turkey! I haven't eaten. I in have a eaten week. in days, man. Yeah. <laughs> Our union's awful. <laughs> No, but this card like is in the is in the deck list instead of that second copy of guts if you look up there. Mm -hmm, yeah. Which like it could, if you don't like it, it could easily be copy of guts, but Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh elusive. elusive. Good card. <clears throat> uh we will say we're playing without the tab these deck is without the taboo list, and uh if you're only playing with two cores, uh you probably you don't want to be playing with the taboo list. Live yeah. the power while you can. Elusive good. <clears throat> Emergency cash. Good. Your events cost money. Leo Luca costs money. Mm -hmm. Lucky. 
also just good. Yeah. Uh, not failing tests instead of failing tests is generally good. <laughs> Especially good with her uh, ability as well, <clears throat> because yeah. you can fish for, you can turn a failure, even uh, have a better chance of turning a failure into a success with her. Yeah, it just really increases the odds there where instead of being like, I have to pass this test, you're like, I only have to fail it by two. Yeah. Uh, sneak attack, again, <clears throat> in line with that uh, backstab is a way to permanently deal with enemies. Uh, evading enemies is easy when you have four foot, so... Yeah. Also, they wouldn't expect a small girl to stab them. No, no, no. Uh, the package <clears throat> of the skills that bump your stats, all very good and very Got helpful. Yeah, Guts is good, and Man of are both good, because the uh, Treachery deck quite often poses those stats as questions to you. Perception's nice, just to like kind of push through a couple extra investigations, because once again, that's like the real thing you contribute. Yeah. And Unexpected Courage just kind of fills the gaps. Uh, you'll notice... Here we have fist <clears throat> test. You're oh, like done, though. I'm just losing my voice. Uh, you'll notice that there's no overpower. One thing that's uh, kind of important to know when you're building a deck, when you're first starting out this game, it's less about... Uh, you don't want to help your bad stats get better. Just kind of like, like especially with it's a one, just let it be bad, right? Like, just accept. You draw a punch and you're like, shucks, yeah. right? No, like you're playing Forgotten Age. You got Leo Anderson, you got your foot. You're like, every time a foot test comes up, I'm going to fail. That's it. That's life. It's more worth it to put in cards that help mitigate that failure than it does tr putting, committing cards to try and succeed. Yeah. Uh, here are her unique cards. <clears throat> Uh, Abandon alone, depending on which cards you s play with, can kind of suck. But for the most part, it's just two direct war. I would love to when see When you amulet, like, lets you get extra value out of a set of cards. Like, there's there's two kind of Wendy builds in my eyes. There's, like, where Wendy's amulet really shines, and then there's, like, Abandon alone punishes you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that the graveyard one is, like, or the discard <laughs> card pile one is, like, better in general. But, like, when you say, I mean, like, you get extra uses out of, look what I found, backstab and elusive and lucky and sneak attack is just, like, good. Yeah. I do want to see the situation where Abandonable alone, you have, like, uh, 27 cards in your, like, <laughs> discard pile, and then you're like, well, don't got much to work with now. <laughs> <laughs> That would be There's also some like really, really neat things you can do with like Wendy's Amulet where you're like, I'll throw away this Lucky to redraw another chit, and they're like, you you fail by one. You're like, haha, I'll play this Lucky. That's a cool trick. I do like that. Uh, here's I'll some upgrade my... cards. Oh, upgrade cards, and right. Of course, that. Leo costs less. Lucky draws you card. Uh, close call is like lets you kind of deal with an enemy. It's nice yeah. when you have a goon in your group. You can kind of pass it off to them. Will to survive is. You don't have to make tests. It's like Wendy's ability, but you don't have to discard cards for it. Yeah. <laughs> I think um. Which says, that says more about Wendy's ability than it does about Will to survive, but like. <laughs> Will to survive is good. You should play it. I think one thing about close call as well is the the fact that as your role as Wendy, you're gonna kind of be that weird person who's probably on their own, and I'm not saying that just because she's an urchin. But um, <laughs> or an orphan. Yeah, but the fact that like you're gonna need to find ways to solve your own problems. That's something you're gonna have to do as Wendy, and close call is mm -hmm. a great way of doing that. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's get to the Dumb Witch Legacy. <clears throat> Tell me about Peter, like you have every other time, Justin. Uh, Pete's great. Uh, he <laughs> he just so the basic version. We'll get to the. Okay, wow, yeah, Pete's just also incredible with Wendy. Two very relevant stats get bumped. Uh, the basic one just gets you plus one foot, which puts you to five. In addition, you you basically don't have to worry about dying to horror anymore, which is a huge thing. We'll get to the other one when we get to him, when he's in the slide. Dark Horse is, like, incredibly powerful with Wendy. Mm -hmm. Because most of your cards you don't even want to play. You just want your cards in hand to throw away to retake tests, and Dark Horse just gives you plus one to everything. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, it turns your two fours into fives, which is awesome, and then your three into a four. <clears throat> yeah, like, you can scrape through game just, like, playing Dark Horse, and then you just never play any other cards again, really. Yeah. You just throw them away to retake tests. Uh, newspaper doesn't seem too exciting, but the card's very strong because as you're playing Wendy, uh, if you're playing two-player, uh, 
it's, I mean, in three player especially, because it's, your job is probably just to grab like a few clues and clean up the messes that you can clean up. And newspaper is a great way of doing that. You investigate at five, then you're holding the clue that you need and you still have three, which is still a very serviceable score for getting more clues that may show up. Newspaper also really uh, functions well with uh, scavenging. Yes. For Wendy, where you can just recycle two of them and just like always have like a permanent plus one book, so mean you're 16. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Feels very good. <clears throat> Fire Axe is like just here as an option. Yeah, I like, mean, like, it's, it's, it's. One there, of those there's a like, build of Wendy where you can play like the level. If you have lots of cards, you can play, or lots of like expansions, you can play like the level two hot streak. And you can play a very money and event focused build, and Fire Axe is quite solid in that because you have lots of resources to pump into it. Yeah. Because then you spend the three, she's attacking at six, which is pretty good at killing uh, things that don't have too crazy of a fight value. Yeah, it's just like pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, close encounter. This is a so on in Travis's little write up, uh, which you can find in the link below the video. Um, there is uh, this is like the ally package. There's some cool things you can do with this. Uh, you want to talk about the red gloves man uh, list? <laughs> Sure. So what we're, what we're trying to do with the Red Glove Man is put him into play and out of play as many times as we can because he makes any of our stats awesome and makes sure that none of the damage we're taking this turn matters. Six. Yeah. Six if uh, awesome didn't cut it. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you can actually, actually kind of just do anything as long as you played the Red Glove Man this turn. Uh, Charisma stops us from having to discard people like Leo DeLuca, who, in turn, enable more use out of playing the Red Glove Man. Mm -hmm. uh, Chance Encounter just lets you play the Red Glove Man from your discard. Yep. Very strong, very fun uh, package, too. It's also yeah. base skill, so you still get, you know... Yeah, you get you get any of the buffs that you should be getting from anything else. Like, if you have, uh, if you have Dark Horse in play, then your skill is 7. Assuming that you have no money at the moment. Yeah, which you probably don't if you're playing Dark Horse. So just save yeah. that red glove man. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a fun little package, and Chance Encounter also just mm -hmm. makes it so, like, I mean, like, she plays in her discard pile as well, right? So you're going to be able to get him back. And if, like, say for some reason you need him just there, you can just put him in there, right? Like, yeah. I don't know why you would, but you could. And the red glove man set does also get stronger and more reliable the more the more uh, cycles that you have access to yeah all right some other options scrapper which is a good way for you to bump up your foot you could bump up your fist if you need to like if you need to kill something small but having the ability to yeah. just always <laughs> like if you need to fight a rat yeah exactly or if you need to yeah you need to just punch a cultist and you have some sitting around and you also have dark horse because that would be an additional plus one if you spend all your resources um but then there's also upgraded Pete, uh, which is very good because you're, if you notice with him, your four and your four and your brain and your foot respectively become five and five, which is pretty so great. Uh, and then also you just don't die when he's in play. He does a great mm -hmm. job of making sure you're all right. He does, he does a very good job of mitigating your abandon alone. Yeah, definitely. One thing about the uh, scrapper that's very strong is... Uh... As mentioned earlier, half your cards in your deck could be blanks because you're just throwing them away for whatever in Wendy. And Scrapper's like just a use of your experience that you're never going to be tempted to throw away to reuse her ability. Definitely. You can just have it sit there and be a, a sink for your resources. Did that one mutate? In the, or is, no. that one, is that the one that stayed yeah. the same? No, I think, I think Scrapper's it was like yellow, like five green. Now. I'm just checking. I think the blue, one, the blue one and the purple one stayed the same. Yeah. Yeah, Scrapper's now five, which I still think I'm just yeah. No, that's that's not for you guys mm -hmm. watching. I was just curious, but let's let's go on. Let's let's move on to still in the Dunwich Legacy. This is green cards now. Quick thinking is good. Uh, extra actions good. <laughs> yeah, I think also a big thing is like with quick thinking, you're going to be using either of your four skills for this, so you're probably going to succeed by two or more. Not even counting the fact that they're probably buffed further. Yep. Uh, Lone Wolf is very comfortable again in that uh, like heavy money build with the uh, Fire Axe and stuff like that. Also good with Scrapper like Fire as Axe well. and Lone Wolf with your money that you get is like 
you get to chop things at five, which is yeah. pretty, pretty good. If you're playing the ally set, you also probably want those. Yeah, allies are expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. Double or nothing. I uh, don't recommend this card very often. These card is a uh, big plays. You know? it, it is the <laughs> ultimate gamble. Yeah, big plays. You don't it's have a certain, ton of things to like take is. super advantage of it with, but it's very, very strong with will to survive. Very strong with will to survive. Very strong with like scrapper and backstab. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lucky Dice Brin talked about this one in the Skids review, where you just get to. It's like I'll throwing away a card, but like... instead of a card, you're throwing away two resources. Yeah, it's basically just another Wendy in play. It's like backup Wendy. Yeah, like. Did you did you throw away a card and try again and fail again? Try again. Yep. You can do it but for resources this time. Yeah. You can try it a third time. All right, on to the path to Carcosa. Uh, we have Lantern. Uh, this, this set's very good for uh, very good for Wendy. Mm-hmm. Lantern makes that three book a lot more comfortable for examining both locations and also like free Tesla's damage. Pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, resourceful, very strong with like scavenging and like it just you get a card back when yeah, you try yeah. again. And also the fact that she plays into her discard pile, resourceful is great at taking advantage of that. Like if you burnt a lucky and you didn't, you actually succeeded, you need to use it. You can get it back with resourceful, right? Yep. Uh, lockpicks makes invest game basically free. Yeah, lockpicks is like the turning point for green cards where they start becoming actually good as opposed to just strange and. Like, Different. yeah, maybe I could use that. <laughs> yeah, someone, because uh, in our uh, experienced lockpicks uh, rogue cards, no one said lockpicks in there. It's so just because the card's really good. It's, like, not too exciting. It's just so good at what it does that it's, like, you're, like, yeah, it's just here, right? It's just, it's Yeah, it's like, it's, like, stick the plan, too, like, where it's, it's boring, but, like, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. It's also, it's also an item, so if you break your picks. You can get it back with scavenging. You can scavenging them back. Yeah, it seems yeah. very good with Wendy. On that note, upgraded newspaper is like primo Wendy. Plus two book that you can get back with scavenging every turn, like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's really strong. <laughs> also if you play it's like plus two book and then you get an extra clue if you don't have any, like just just really good. Yeah, really it goes great into that niche of, as I was saying earlier of needing to do the small little things. Yeah, like newspaper in general doesn't look like or the upgraded newspaper doesn't look like much because you only get if you have no clues. But then you think of like your average. If you think of your average scenario, there's like three acts you need to get through. Mm-hmm. Most of them require clues, as a general rule. So that's like three times. And then, as a general, they're also going to suck up your clues at the end of the act. Yeah. So that's three opportunities you have to get the extra clues. So you're paying one resource for plus six or plus three book two time or plus two book three times. Yep. And three free clues. And it's also Very one of those. Efficient thing that also is like most of the time it requires two or three clues per player so like this covers that right like you're yeah, like and this you're covers like, you and maybe someone else yeah all right so upgraded sneak attack uh you don't need to be engaged with the enemy anymore it just makes it more consistent and easier to fire off it's a it's a strong card upgrade pickpocket you get money in addition to replacing your card good and you're gonna you're you, you're evading with four uh base so uh, you'll PC. probably be able to succeed by two or more very frequently. Yeah. Uh, a test, test of will, will, I think, is very... like. This is So going to what Travis said about how a lot of your cards are blank cards, um, I think a card like this is very easy for you then to keep into your hand and be like, I don't need to get rid of this. This is just a good assurance pol- uh, insurance policy. And then everything else is just uh, mulligans of the chaos token. Uh, it's a good way for you to mm-hmm. say no to the game, and because you're primarily red, you will have some expensive green cards. But because you're primarily red, you won't need to. Uh, you'll have that extra re- uh, experience to spend to bring bring it back into your deck. Very strong card, mm-hmm. more protection, but red. Yeah, uh, this is a this fun pack in the Forgotten Age. Like, so this is where things really take off for like these first three cards. They you get a bonus for playing out your discard. Like oh my god. You just throw them away, and then you get to use them later for better things. It's so good. Yeah, that's really sweet. And I, I, I remember uh, watching you play with those cards in Wendy. It, it seemed like a really good time. Yeah. And they're Improvised all weapons, zero. like, a little bit lackluster, because they're relies on your fight. But, like, if you have some of the damage cards and 
got like fire axe or whatever it's pretty serviceable the impromptu barrier evading an additional enemy and winging it getting you an extra clue is so good yeah it's so good yeah, and it's uh, and they're all in the core. I mean, they're all in the sorry the the the, the base. Of the, no, they're not in the base. No, don't listen. No, they're not all in the don't base. Listen to me. Don't listen to me. Uh, take heart. Uh, it's a great way to gain uh, cards and resources. Right. Or just yeah, draw the blue chip. Yeah, or just draw the blue chip. <laughs> I didn't want to succeed game. No, but with Wendy, you might not. You get plus zero, and then you're like, "Yeah, I still failed." <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> uh perseverance uh travis was saying earlier that um this card's just it's just really good it, it, it commits for two brains so it's a guts it also stops you from dying like that's great it looks very it looks very situational but it's like so flexible actually yeah i uh, got a lucky cigarette case uh you're going to be succeeding by two or more a lot it's a good way to draw more cards to burn more cards into your thing a big thing to note is that uh, it is. It takes the the necklace slot, which isn't as big of a deal if you're not doing the Wendy's amulet build. But if you are, Wendy's amulet is probably going to take priority to that. Yeah, lucky cigarette case is like kind of just a different rabbit's foot. Yeah, uh, you handle this one's a uh, fun card Good. to play because you give your problems to someone else and make money off of them. I got an enemy for you to fight, and they're like, "Thank you." Yeah. <laughs> Also, I, I failed this test, so I only get one action this turn, but thank you. <laughs> I failed my treachery card, and I, I got dumpstered for it, so, you know. Yeah. Dang. Uh, uh, like yeah. in this kid's review, Hatchet Man Synergize is very good with things like Sneak Attack. Yes, yeah. It's pretty. It's a little bit of a niche card, but like pretty good for Wendy, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ornate Bow, uh, she has a very minimal uh, fist, however... Uh, you're st you're still attacking at seven with it, which uh, sorry you're still at you're attacking at six with it, um, which is uh, where you want to. I'm having a stroke. Don't listen to me right now. I have to restart this thought. Ornate bow is good because she attacks at six. She has very lot of feet. Wendy has a lot of feet. She shoots a bow really good. We got there, folks. <laughs> Ornate bow, the weapon for people who can't fight good. Yep, but can run really great. Yeah. Um, it is a bit, uh, one thing that always just um, be aware of with Ornate Bow is that it takes a lot of actions, and if you miss, it feels really bad. Luckily, Wendy has that uh, kind of uh, ability to turn a miss into a potential hit, which I think is a really, can make this really strong in Wendy's, Wendy's deck. When he shoots her bow, the arrow goes wide. She reaches into her pocket and drops some piece of garbage on the ground, the arrow... Yeah. Hits him in the like head. Why? He's dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, circle undone. This cycle is also quite good for Wendy. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing thin is a good card. Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, when you fail... Oh, not even when you fail. When you start a skill, you just increase the yeah. ability by two and gain resources or draw a card. Resources yeah, you can get the good. bonus and pass. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah, because resources are good because you can buy things. Cards are good because you can use them for... Her ability and other things. Uh, track, track shoes. shoes the, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, the item that they forgot to put like foot symbols on or whatever. Not foot symbols, but like a uh, like I, a body slot, but like for feet. I wish they did because they've introduced tarot. They could have just introduced feet. Yeah, but shoes. Uh, makes her foot five and allows her to uh, move quicker, which will be very easy for her. Uh, Three move actions, baby. Yeah. Belly of the Beast is good because it allows you to get clues with her skill that's good at it, which is her foot, and she'll also then be evading enemies, which you're going to be doing anyway, and you can get clues out of it is a good time. Um, Trial tra by Fire is good for most investigators that are bad at something because you can just be good at what you need to. I do think what... Yeah, Trial by Fire is like a level zero red-gloved man. Yeah. Yeah. I do think what Travis said in his uh, the deck tech for this is that it's a bit expensive, and that's just something you should be aware of as you're building plans to play this card. It is Yeah, like three pricey. resources is, is a little bit pricey. Yeah. Same thing with these uh, Decoy, Intel Report, and uh, Small Favor. They all sort of tie into um, that build I was talking about a little bit earlier with the level, especially with the level 2 hot streak from uh, Return to Dunwich or Return to Carcosa or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
they synergize very well with just like events that do things they synergize well with Wendy's amulet. Yeah. And then especially the one like uh, the small favor, a great way for her to kill enemies because she's yeah. not that great at that. The other two give you like very nice symbols as well. Oh, oh yeah, no, they all contribute. Like they they do great symbols, which is great for all all three of those cards. Yeah. Uh, the moon, it's a tarot card, so you know what that means, folks. It's good, but boring. It just gives her more foot, which uh, helps her out mm -hmm. a ton. Uh, you'll note that we don't have the red tarot for her, and that's because it's That one's because it's bad and boring. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, <laughs> bad and boring, the worst yeah. combination. <laughs> yeah, that one is just kind of not strong. Yeah. Uh, uh, Guiding Spirit is one of my favorite allies, that you'll... I think. Yeah, I, you know, I really like it too, but the problem is Pete's there just pushing the ghost into the back into the grave. Because yeah, but it depends great. who you're playing, right? Yeah. Like, you're playing Wendy, you don't really need that sense. You don't really need that extra foot. But you know what you do need? Four book if you're investigating. One money for four book is insane. Yeah, oh yeah. And like, yeah, it exiles, but once again, you're in red and you have the money to spend, like the experience to spend, because your deck's going to be built before you know it, and you're going to be like, all right, we have five encounters left all right let's go yeah. you're also wendy like just don't fail the test to do your brain damage yeah exactly yeah i probably won't even die <laughs> you uh, just don't fail but having a four four one four for your stats you're like okay good let's just never punch and be great at everything else yep um fortunate fate uh, is fortunate a good way fate yeah you go travis it's like water protection for ancient evils it feels good yeah just but say you no. just, just get to do it uh, you catastrophe yeah. is also a great way, of, great way of saying no to the game and saying yes, I want to draw the blue chit. Uh, it also doesn't exile itself, which is sweet. It is. Yeah. I think that's it for Wendy. I think so. It is. Yeah. I want to play Wendy after after doing all this. I think Wendy would be fun to revisit. Wendy is a very strong investigator. Yeah, because I haven't played her since my first time playing the game. Mm -hmm. But hey, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, that is the end of all our core set investigators. So from here on out, if you have not seen our Akachi or our Rita one, we're going to be doing individual investigators. We're going to get through everyone in the game, talking about a deck you can build from the core set and all of the cards only in their cycle. So that's what we have going forward. We're going to be releasing those videos weekly. Uh, but in the meantime, if you have any comments about Wendy or anything we might have missed or anything at all, or if you want what investigator you want to see first, uh, we probably will all have already recorded them, so we, we won't know, your vote won't matter, but we can then build your list from that. Uh, but yeah, we read the comments and we love talking to you guys. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and as always, GG's.